Okay, here uh, create and register virtual machine. New virtual machine. Next. The name. Okay, and uh, compatibility 6.5, family Linux uh, version. Okay, use Ubuntu Linux 64 bits. Next, okay, the data storage. Use any, for example, data store one. Next. Okay, for CPU, use at least one, or according to your requirements, you can add more uh, CPUs. Memory, at least uh, one gigabyte, 1024 megabytes. Okay, modify this according to your requirements. And the hard disk, I will use 20 gigabytes with use any uh, higher value according to your requirements support usb 3.0 and the network adapter with here on cd dvd choose an iso file okay and here upload the installer the image Okay, this is the image Ubuntu. Okay, this is the image Ubuntu 20.04 Ubuntu server. Okay, and wait. It may take a while. Okay, ready, and this is the image. Select this and click select. Very good. Next, confirm, finish. And go to virtual machines. This is the new virtual machine, this. Okay. Uh, okay, if it's necessary, I will do this later. Okay, and power on. And click here. Okay, select your language, in my case is English, enter, okay, uh, the layout, press enter here and select maybe English, in my case is different, is uh, for example this Spanish, Latin American, okay, tap, tap, done, enter, now, uh, here on my interface is ENS160, Ethernet, Enter, and you can edit IPv4 on an IPv6 addresses. But uh, I will use uh, DHCP. Uh, you can configure IPv4 and IPv6 addresses later. Done. No proxy in my case, done. Mirror address, okay, use the default, done. Here is selected, use an entire disk and go go down here and select with space 
space custom storage layout and done. Now this is your 20 gigabytes uh, hard, virtual hard disk and enter here. Enter uh, add partition. I will just uh, I will create a swap. For example, uh, one gigab one gigabytes or or use an, any number or a higher number according your requirements. Down here swap and create. Now this is the swap. Uh, add a new partition. Add partition and do not specify the the size to use all the remaining space. Use ext4 and the root, then create. Now you will have the BIOS grab one megabyte, uh, partition two swap one gigabyte, and all the remaining space partition three for the root done. Confirm and continue your name use your full name the server name username and password okay tap and done enter okay install open ssh server no you can install later and done. Do not install these uh, environments. Tap done. Enter. Okay, now reboot, enter. Press enter to remove the medium, enter. Very good. And wait a minute. Enter username and password. Success. Okay, verify the IP address. I have a loopback address, uh, interface ENS160, IPv4 address, and IPv6 address using the DHCP dynamic. Okay, ping to ping for to google.com. Very good. Control C to stop. Ping six to google.com. Very nice. Control C to stop.